All right, super. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone. This is Robert at Custodian File. Today is uh, June 21. I'm going to try to focus on my uh, Lakota videos. Uh, they have like an airbase just uh, outside of Barstow. That's halfway to Vegas, LA to Vegas. They don't come by too often, but over four or five years, maybe I've had like uh, 10 videos. Not even sure what they're cruising over here when you really think about it. But nevertheless, when they do come by, they get tagged. Um, I wonder what really what their helicopters makes them so special over Apaches or Blackhawks. Uh, what kind of special equipment do they have? But nevertheless, here's the interpolation. You copy and paste each frame. 60 frames. How many frames are there? Maybe about uh, 20 at the most. So that's like a, a third of a second, just under a third of a second. So it's a blink of an eye. If you blink, you'll miss it. When you're recording, if you happen to blink, you'll miss your own video. You got to go back and review it and watch it in slow motion. Look for a tiny dot. That tiny dot will be the uh, UFO dragon. I call them dragons because I thought they were dragonflies seven years ago, the summer of 2017. They're not birds, they're not bugs. They're extremely predictable UFOs. Quite easy to predict where and when they will be. Uh, and uh, they're keeping me pretty busy. I'm getting a lot of new video every day from all over. All right, let's go to the next. All right, here we go. Lakota again, 2019. Wow, five years. Um, yes, I didn't know at the time what they were. I thought they were just camouflage choppers, but nevertheless, here he is. Look at that dragon right there coming in. Flies right up to his engine, does the recon, and keeps going. They're roughly going about uh, 2,000 miles an hour, 3,000 feet a second. No sonic boom. The only sound they make is a, is a click, a tiny click, and it's easy to miss. I missed it for about uh, three or four years. I was hearing the clicking, but I was ignoring it because it just it was just too much data. I couldn't, I couldn't believe these things were leaving a clicking be sound behind on the video. Uh, so it was finally pointed out two or three times and I finally caught on. It's like these things are making a clicking sound for sure. Uh, but there it is, there's the video. Uh, if you have a buddy in the military that flies these helicopters, any of them, Black Hawks, Apaches, Lakota, Ospreys, just straight up say, hey, what's going on in Marina Del Rey? I think they'll tell you. I think they'll tell you the truth. I think at this point, it serves no purpose to pretend that it's top secret. It just serves no, no function whatsoever. Uh, and, and if they tell you, please reach out, share the story. You know, my buddy said this and, uh, you know, obviously at the very least it's frustrating or annoying, right? If you're a pilot, you're coming in, you're looking for these things and they're flying in front of your monitor, your radar is going off. It's frustrating. I get that. Uh, nevertheless, um, this is what's going on. This is the, this is the videos again, very predictable. Okay. Super. Let's go to the uh, next here. Super, October also, another tag from Lakota, just hanging around, looking, doing his best to uh, recon, try to figure out what's going on. Uh, obviously, these things must be showing up on our satellites, our, our new thermal satellites that went online in 2016. And they can see they're just flying all over uh, Marina Del Rey, uh, 2,000 miles an hour. So to say the least, it's concerning. Let's see, here's a, a, a return in uh, 2021. A lot, of, a lot of overcast, a lot of gray skies in the marina. Uh, we don't have too many blue skies. This is one of the better ones in 2019. But nevertheless, every single helicopter essentially that the Pentagon has, has been in Marina Del Rey. I've really recorded all of them. I think the only thing I have not recorded is actually a weather balloon. And they usually cruise at about 60 to 75,000 feet. But if a weather balloon did come by, he would get tagged also. So I'll record it if a weather balloon comes by. But every other aircraft we have, this is right over the Jetty Rocks, just uh, zoomed in on that. So they're doing, they're doing everything they can. You have any suggestions? Put it out there. Maybe they'll read the comments. They'll read the comments. This is uh, what, where did I get this? Yeah, I just went on Google. Oh, what do we got here? We got a Chinook. 
somebody just recording a Chinook and look at this dragon coming down the river just just hauling just hauling um, so once you know what to look for they're easy to find so you'll be on the news you'll just be watching it let me see does he get tagged that's me recording that uh, here we go 12% there we are he gets tagged over and over what can I say you pick a helicopter if you have a favorite helicopter put a comment Maybe I'll put together a custom link and I'll send it to you. You can uh, check out your own uh, choppers, whatever you'd like there. But pretty much every single helicopter has been in Marina Del Rey. I, I kid you not. Uh, Coast Guard, Sheriff, Police, uh, Edison Chopper, the Fire Department. Now they ask the, the Edison and the Fire, they, they come in because they have very sophisticated thermal cameras that can easily pick up the IR on these things, uh, among other helicopters. But it, we're out of ideas at this point. We don't, we, we don't know what else to do. So uh, I'm just suggesting just keep recording, put them all in a library. They'll come in handy in the future. They'll just come in handy. All right, let's go to the next video. All right, 2021, look at this. I think there are two dragons here on the Lakota. Um, which raises a good question. One dragon, obviously, logically, you can assume, can get the job done, 100%, whatever it's doing, reconning, 3D, measuring, taking a thousand different scan data points. One, one dragon can get the job done. So why do we need two or three sometimes? It's, a, it's really, uh, it's a question I haven't figured out yet. Um, but there it is, he's getting tagged twice there. And sometimes they're, uh, you know, they fly in together too. I don't know if they're just showing off when they do that. Maybe just, or they're just having fun. It's just, it's a lot of psychology going on here. And I'm talking to psychologists and we're trying to figure this out too. What they're thinking, what their purpose is, uh, the big picture. We're trying to find the big picture here. Not the little picture is just the video, but the big picture is why are they here and what are they doing and what are they going to do and what are they doing with all this information and where are they sending it? Is it being sent back to a mothership? Maybe the, the uh, night satellite? The, uh, I, I don't know. It's hard to say. We're going to need a lot of smart people to come up with uh, new thoughts, new ideas here. Okay, let's go to the next. Okay, the last video of the day here, look at this. Uh, oh wow, five years ago, six years ago? We, we have uh, some twins, look at these guys, some twin Apaches, they're doing everything they can. It's not a joke, they're not making a movie. They're just doing everything they can. They're working as a team. They're trying to track these dragons down. These dragons are just flying around them, flying in circles. They're doing the best they can. I happen to be home at the time. I think that's when I just got my camera in the summer of 2018. And we're gonna close here on uh, 2020, this was four years ago. 12 Black Hawks, 12 Black Hawks flew in. They came in basically from um, uh, Long Beach, California. Uh, I was getting calls, they were saying, hey, there are 12 Black Hawks coming toward the marina. So I was able to pull my camera out. Now this right here, name on rice, this is just a lady standing at the uh, beach, Venice Beach. And look at this, she's recording dragons. Okay, so she's on the ground and then I'm like two miles away on my balcony and I'm recording these 12 Black Hawks and they're getting tagged. Uh, they got tagged a lot here. It was just one after the other. It was really, and then, and then they had the uh, fire department and the police to help them. So that's a total of 16 helicopters all at once. Uh, what was that about? Maybe a show of force, scare these dragons. Like the message is, you better get out of here. Don't ever come back because, you know, we're not playing around. Uh, you know, it could be that. I mean, I don't know to see why you would fly 12 Blackhawks uh, over Marina Del Rey. That's for sure. Uh, nevertheless, they all got tagged. It's uh, like I said, that's from two different uh, angles too. Uh, basically, that will do it here. I'll do my best to keep posting, putting out new videos. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share it with a friend. As hard as it is, believe these tiny little UFOs are flying right in front of us. And if it wasn't for the digital camera, we would never know. We would just never know. 
So uh, it's exciting times. If you're scared, I was scared for 100 days. I think it probably take like 100 days for you to, to like, oh, okay, this is no big deal. All right, super. Until the next video, stay safe. This is Robert Eck, Custodian File. Take care. Bye-bye.